we're going to hear from Tim Lowry. Why? Well, there's many reasons why you might listen to Tim Lowry, but this time it's crafting a personal narrative. Now, whether or not you have, it's okay. He said that it's fine if you're uh, beginning, intermediate, advanced, who knows, but it's happening on Saturday, November 2nd, 2024, from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Mountain Time. But don't worry, that link down there will give you a time zone converter of oh, what time it might be for you, which is storycrossroads.org slash all things story. Now, Tim, you are known for many kinds of genres, but why, why do personal narratives feel important to you as a storyteller or just as Tim Lowry? <laughs> to to be ridiculously honest, um, when I looked at the national storytelling scene, you know, personal narrative was very popular. And I thought, hmm, I want to make a living. So it was, it was a uh, economics choice. <laughs> uh, I was, my very first introduction to uh, the big national storytelling movement was at a festival where there was a good bit of personal narrative. And, and so I was very intrigued by that. Um, up until then, I had not seen a lot of it. And I realized that people really enjoy the connection. They, they enjoy seeing, oh, my life is a lot like so-and-so's life. Um, I think a good example would be how we all love to go on a chat show and see our favorite movie stars talk about, you know, just their kids and their personal life and stuff. And you think, oh, their life is really not so different from mine when it's all said and done. So I think that's one of the reasons that personal narrative appeals to me. It allows me to get a, a deeper connection with my audience. And so I like it for that reason very much so. Well, it can be daunting to people because usually when people are pondering to develop a personal narrative they might have lived so many years on the earth and it can be i don't know maybe like a deer and headlights kind of moment uh, for this before this workshop is there any advice you'd have for someone who maybe just hasn't dipped their toe into it yet when it gets like that but people what people common commonly will say to me is they'll say I just don't have a very interesting life. I don't have anything that I could talk about. And I say, oh, I bet you do. I bet you do. And a good way to kind of have a barometer for yourself is, do you find yourself telling a particular uh, event from your life over and over again at parties and social gatherings? And even a better barometer is, did someone come and get you and take you to someone else and say, tell them that story you told me, you know, tell them about that time you nearly hit a bear with your car. That's a really good indication that you probably have at least the kernel of a, sto of a story that you could grow uh, for a larger audience. And then what about someone who has a big a big repertoire of personal narrative. And I know that you said that this workshop can help for those who have maybe been in it for a while. Is there like a, a small little thing to encourage them um, in regards to that? I would say if you, if you already work in personal narrative, uh, it's always good to remember uh, how can I, how can I take this to the next level? And in the workshop, we'll talk about that. Like, where does personal narrative fit in sort of the hierarchy of stories of the human experience? And how can you use personal narrative to tie to all of those other types of stories? How can you use it to tie to legend? How can it tie to folktale? How can it tie to creation myth? Which is more and more interesting to me when I become a guru. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I'm going to write my PhD thesis on. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to be waiting for that uh, thesis then. Let us know. Or or actually, not that, that you say that, you did recently publish a book, and it happens to be with personal narratives. Personal narrative, yes. After I've been telling personal narrative for just over a decade, about a dozen years. And so at this point, I have enough of a body of work that um, when people kept saying, uh, you should write a book. I thought, yes, I should. <laughs> and so I, I manuscripted those personal narratives and, and collected them in a book. 
So we'll talk a little bit about that, about how the writing voice is a bit different than the telling voice and how they complement one another, how sometimes they um, require a little bit different mindset. But we'll talk about that some in the workshop as well. Well, this is fantastic. Everyone, you need to put on your calendar because it's coming up real fast. Saturday, November 2nd, 2024. That's 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Mountain Time. But again, if you go to that link, storycrossroads.org slash all things story, you can get not only the time zone converter, but guess what? You actually will want to register. And if for whatever crazy reason you can't make it at that time, you could actually still register and opt for the recording. Obviously, virtual live is going to be better, but that is still something that's an option, not just for this workshop, but any of them that we do with this series. So we're excited. Let's find out more about you until we tell again.